Long Beach says it saw a decrease in the homeless population last year, down by just 71 people. That's after the city declared a homeless emergency and spent millions of dollars. McCollum Medina covers Long Beach. He asked the mayor if the city's efforts are working. Mac, what did he say? Well, Annabelle and Kali, Mayor Rex Richardson says it is working and he's doubling down on that, even though homeless advocates, some of them and some homeless people themselves say it's been a failure. Things are trending in the right direction because we took action. Standing in front of a graph that shows the first decline in the homeless population since 2017, Mayor Rex Richardson says it's progress, albeit small. 3,376 unhoused people counted in January this year, compared to 3,447 last year. That is just 71 less homeless people after spending upwards of $60 million of local, state, and federal taxpayer money. That equates to just over $845,000 a person. Well, I can tell you it's not working. Christine Berry, a homeless advocate, says the city's efforts have been a failure. We've spent millions and millions of dollars, and most of the homeless are not better off. The money's not been out the right way. Thurman Wells, who's been homeless for a decade, says the $60 million spent should have had more of an impact on him and the thousands of others still on the streets and still struggling. There's nothing about today. Uh, that would infer that this was a failure. Richardson says the city did successfully turn the tide from a record 62% homeless increase during the pandemic and did cut youth homelessness almost in half. But Barry says the proof is in the number of homeless actually housed. During the homeless emergency year, the city moved just 227 people out of homelessness onto their own feet, according to city data. 773 are currently in permanent housing programs. Barry says the city's housing first strategy has become a revolving door for too many addicted and mentally unstable people who are given temporary housing without demanding treatment first. If you actually enforce the crime um, and the laws in the, in the city and then give people a choice between go to rehab or go to jail, I can tell you from experience, they'll go to rehab. The city says that they are committed to the housing first approach. Meantime, the mayor does acknowledge that, quote, there needs to be a lot more work ahead of us, but he does says they are doing better than other cities in the region. We're live in Long Beach. I'm Akala Medina, NBC4 News.